Hi, my name is Shreya Rao, and I would like to present my study on the comparative analysis of the impact of rolled inner seam strap design on pressure distribution at the tilt hold area of flip-flops, a prospective study in healthy volunteers. Footwear plays a critical role in the prevention and management of foot ulcers. Dorsal foot ulcers can occur as a result of excessive pressure and friction from straps, leading to tissue damage and breakdown. Individuals with diabetes and leprosy are particularly vulnerable to these ulcers due to factors such as sensory loss, peripheral neuropathy, and altered foot biomechanics. Most studies in the field of foot pressure analysis have focused on plantar foot pressure distribution, neglecting the potential impact of straps on the dorsal foot regions. Flip-flops, a type of open-toed footwear characterized by a flat sole and a Y-shaped strap, are among the most commonly used footwear in the world as primary footwear in developing countries and as summer footwear of choice in developed nations. In a study by Ramaswamy et al. from 2017, it was found that 15.7% of individuals with diabetes-related foot ulcers had ulcers specifically caused by the straps of their footwear. Similarly, Case of et al. in 2013 reported cases of non-trophic cutaneous ulcers in leprosy patients resulting from friction and pressure exerted by straps. Rolling the inner seam of the strap of the flip-flop is a simple solution that can reduce the pressure and friction on the top of the foot. The rolled inner strap increases the surface area in contact with the skin, thus distributing the pressure evenly across the skin, leading to less friction and reducing the risk of skin breakdown. We conducted a study on this design innovation, a rolled inner seam strap, compared to the traditional straight edge strap in healthy volunteers. Our study recruited five healthy female volunteers, each contributing 10 feet, five left and five right, per arm of the study. We compared two types of flip-flops, those equipped with the innovative rolled inner seam strap, RAS design, and traditional flip-flops with control straps. Our evaluation was conducted through a standardized five-step walk trial on hardwood floors. To measure the pressure at the toehold area, we employed pressure-sensitive switches equipped with portable, accurate, ultra-thin pressure sensors. Paired t-tests were used to compare the maximum pressure at the toehold between the RAS and control flip-flops, with statistical significance set at a p-value less than 0.05. We discovered a statistically significant difference in the pressure at the toehold area between the RAS and control flip-flops, with a p-value of 0.0014. The mean difference of negative 40.90 grams, 95% confidence interval, negative 61.22 to negative 20.58, demonstrated that the RIS exerted significantly lower pressure than the control flip-flops. Our findings hold promise for individuals at risk of developing dorsal foot ulcers, particularly those with neuro neuropathic conditions, such as diabetes and leprosy. The implementation of an RIS design in flip-flops could potentially offer a practical and cost-effective solution to reduce strap-induced pressure on the dorsal aspect of the foot. This reduction in pressure could in turn mitigate the risk of strap-related foot ulcers, particularly in resource-limited settings where comprehensive foot care may be lacking. Thank you.